Well, hey everyone, it's Nate the Vinyl Guide, and I am here in my underground bunker. It's a cold Sydney winter, but things are heating up because I just got a brand new package from our friends at Amphetamine Reptile Records. Now, for those of you who listen to the Vinyl Guide podcast, you know that I absolutely adore Amphetamine Reptile Records. They put out some fantastic stuff, and Tom Hazelmeyer... Uh, the chief muckety-muck over there at Amphetamine Reptile, uh, was on our show, episode 220, and he talks all about the process of what they do to make some records. Now, I'm going to unbox this stuff. I know what it is. I've ordered it. They sent it directly to me. And uh, by the way, I pay for all this. I'm not asking for freebies or nothing. I'm happy to support uh, organizations like Amphetamine Reptile, labels that are putting out great stuff, and uh, pay right along with everyone else. This is a package of Lazy White Boy. Uh, this is an EP uh, that features not only King Buzzo and uh, Dale Crover of Melvin's, but it also features Mark Arm, Steve Turner of Mud Honey, and of course, Steve McDonald's in there as well, playing bass. Uh, I'll call him a Melvin as well. Uh, and uh, this is also done at Toshi Kasai's studio. A couple months ago, we just saw this thing come up on uh, Instagram where all these boys were over at Toshi Kasai's studio uh, doing some recording, and uh, everyone was very excited. This is the output of that recording. It's called Lazy White Boy. Now, there are about five versions of this record, so we're going to go through this whole pack, look at every single one of them, uh, and check them out because they're all pretty beautiful and special. Now, I've got this one in my hand. This is the first one that fell out and it almost hit the ground, so I'm very glad I caught it. Um, oh, this is the black pressing of Lazy White Boy. Uh, and you can tell there are, uh, there is, here's the song tracks, uh, My War, Walking Crazy, 10-minute visitation and drive back. Uh, now, M My War, obviously, is the uh, cover of the Black Flag track. I haven't heard the rest of them, so I'm eager to hear them. Uh, I recently did a video with uh, the Melvin's Electro Retard uh, vinyl pressing from Amphetamine Reptile as well. Uh, and, man, what a uh, spectacular album that is. All right, this is a greenie. I have, a, I have a premonition that this is glow in the dark. There's one of them that's glow in the dark. This may be it. So let's take a look-see. Maybe, maybe, I think this is. This must be the glow in the dark one. Now we've opened this, what I believe is the glow in the dark one. Let's go for the other one. Now, they, they, they taped these in here pretty well, and I'm very happy about that because uh, these records had to make a huge journey all the way from Minneapolis to my little home in Sydney. And uh, I'm very thankful that they made it here and arrived in good shape, even though the postman left them out at the top of the street. Now, luckily, it's not a hot day. It's not rainy, so there was no damage or issues with that. It was just, I'm just glad I saw it before anyone else did. Um, here is an, a, a yellow. Uh, looks like a Howard Hughes there. Uh, and his uh, jars of urine. Maybe those glow in the dark, too. I'd like to see if they do. Which one is this? Oh, a pinwheel. Look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love these pinwheel records. Now, for those of you who are interested in learning more about Amphetamine Reptile, you can always go to episode 220 of The Vinyl Guide, where we talked to Tom, and he gave us the whole story and the history and talks about his philosophy and the process of making records. Um, you can also go to shocksop.com, and if you're lucky enough, uh, to catch them on a production run, you may be able to actually buy some of these records. But these records don't stick around that often. You need to be very quick. In fact, I believe these probably sold out in about five minutes. So whenever they put records for sale, you need to be on time and very quick to be able to uh, successfully procure these records. This one's gray, uh, Mr. Howard Hughes. 
So, interested to see what this one is. Oh, a schmushy one. God, I forget what they keep calling these, but uh, I call them the schmushy ones. They're just a couple colors smushed together. Um, but they're amongst my favorite type of pressings because each one of them is so unique. So, all right, that is the gray Howard Hughes one here. And then there's the final number five, which must be the, um, the splatter. Here's a pinky, Mr. Pink uh, Howard Hughes. Of course, there's the back cover as well. I think you guys have probably seen that before, but no. Pause on that for a moment. And again, yes, this must be the splatter. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a beauty. By the way, these aren't all for me. I order these and uh, help scatter them around to some of our Australian uh, Melvins fans here. Uh, well, amphetamine reptile fans, I should say. I'm telling you, I... Uh, I'll keep one for myself and I'll scatter the rest around. It's nice to be able to get them all here and not make the post office rich. Uh, have one shipment for a bunch of us. We split them up and, uh, and that's all good. Um, I also took this opportunity to purchase a few CDs. <gasps> what, Nate, you've got CDs? Isn't that sacrilegious for a vinyl collector? No, it ain't. And I'll tell you why I got these CDs. First off, they're five bucks each. And you can get them at shocksop.com. Five bucks each. And these are some of the more recent releases that Amphetamine Reptiles put out. Obviously, here is a uh, Lazy White Boy on CD. So I can listen to it in my car. This is not on a streaming service. Uh, so if I'm going to listen to it on the move, then I need a CD. Then here is Melvin's Electro Retard. Again, I've got the records of these. And this is the digital version. Again, I, I can't be guaranteed that it's going to be on streaming services or wherever. So making sure I have one of these just, just handy in case the apocalypse hits um, and the internet it gets wiped out. I can still hear this friggin' album. And then Melvin's Alive at the Fucker Club. Now, I missed this one. I totally missed purchasing this because I think I slept in an extra 10 minutes or something. So I didn't get an opportunity to buy a vinyl copy of this. So this is my only copy of Melvin's Alive at the Fucker Club. So uh, got these three, they put them all in there. Again, I love Amphetamine Reptile Records. I would encourage everyone to check out shocksop.com. Follow Amphetamine Reptile Records uh, on Facebook and Instagram and you'll learn when records like uh, these go on sale. And again, be quick, because if you ain't, you won't get these. Uh, that's just the way it is, guys. So there it is for the vinyl guide. This is Nate. Thank you so much for uh, joining us here on this video. Uh, please check out our podcast, thevinylguide.com. Subscribe to this channel and uh, enjoy your records. Thanks, everyone. Cheerio.